A few businesses in Fresno's River Park have reopened after boarding up their storefronts in response to a threat that had been circulating on social media. Our Angelica Leilani joining us live from River Park. And Angelica, how are the businesses doing today? Well, since we were here this morning, a few more have actually taken down their boards and opened. For many of these businesses, they were closed for just, they were only open for a few days, only to close again. For the ones that were planning to open this month, have now pushed back their reopening dates. Some storefronts in Fresno's River Park still boarded up, but a few starting to come down. After only a day of windows being covered in plywood. We're just trying to strike a balance between protecting uh, our customers and employees and staying in business. Vincent Cho's store, Julia, was closed like many others for months because of COVID-19. After waiting patiently to reopen, it was a big gut punch to have to close again after only six days of being open because of concerns of possible threats. He says they had to make a decision to keep their business going. We stand in support uh, of all the peaceful protests that are going on around the country. Um, but for those opportunists that are taking advantage of that, to do bad things. I mean, there's just no excusing that. Chose not alone cookie cutters haircuts for kids open for business, but leaving the boards up. They say the financial impact is taking a toll. We don't want to lose everything we have right now. And as a re open, we already lost a lot of customer. But so far, everything has remained calm. Police patrolling overnight and throughout the day, monitoring tips from the community. They tell us the threat was a hoax. Officers even gathered with community members in River Park Monday night to show support. It was nice to see um, the community involvement and the police officers standing shoulder to shoulder to our community. River Park says it's up to each store on when they decide to open, but recent looting across the U.S. is causing some big box stores to remain cautious. Their openings were trickling throughout the month of June, so some of them have pushed back further because of that. As of Monday, the doors at Fashion Fair Mall remain open. And police continued to patrol this shopping center as well as Fashion Fair, but I'm told that's nothing new. Reporting live in Fresno, I'm Angelica Leilani, KC24 Local News That Matters.